The latest disturbing event in Nikki's life left her in fear that Jordan was not working alone, but with an accomplice. As it turns out, the young and restless matriarch may be absolutely correct, and the truth could rock the Newman Ranch. When Nikki met up with Jack in society, she had no idea Jordan was perched at the bar disguised as a man, or that her nemesis was the one who sent over the triple distilled vodka to tempt her. In fact, Nikki told Jack that she feared Jordan must be working with an accomplice as it never occurred to her that the culprit was the madwoman herself in costume. Nikki may have been wrong about Jordan using an accomplice to dangle a drink under her nose, but she may have hit the nail on the head when she voiced her suspicions that Jordan isn't working alone. Who, you might be thinking, could be Jordan's accomplice? After all, we only see her alone, but it's what's happening behind the scenes that we're concerned about and the clues point in a very disturbing direction. Claire has been the picture of reformed goodness as she bonds with her parents and grandparents, meets her new family members, and takes their questions and doubts in stride. But what if it's all a carefully curated act? Claire has been vocal about her stance that Jordan should have died after drinking the poison, perhaps a little too vocal considering that both Victoria and Nikki were on the fence. And what about Jordan's great escape from Memorial? Sure, she's got soap villain superpowers on her side, but how does one bust out unaided when one is handcuffed to the hospital bed? Is it really just a huge coincidence that Claire left the ranch on her own without telling anyone, and by the time Victoria noticed her missing, Victor was getting a call that Jordan had managed to bolt. Claire would have had time to help her aunt and get to the coffee house before Victoria actively began searching for her. The timing, folks. After leaving the hospital, we saw Jordan arrive at the door of a rented apartment or room, and the way she muttered, well, I've seen worse, definitely made it sound like someone else had acquired the place for her. Presumably, Claire would have regained access to her bank accounts upon her release from Memorial, and so she'd have the cash to not only set up Jordan in her new hole in the wall, but also to provide her with a handy-dandy new disguise. Getting back to Claire and the coffee house, how strange was it that Jordan showed up, watched her, but didn't approach? Sure, Claire was with Summer and Chance, but wouldn't Jordan have waited and jumped at the chance to corner her niece afterward? From what we know of Jordan, that would have been an irresistible temptation. That said, if they're working together, she wouldn't have risked approaching her in public, and there would have been no need if they're already in contact. Young and restless fans are on the case too, and some just aren't buying Claire's wide-eyed innocence. Maybe we're as crazy as Aunt Jordan, but we think Claire may actually be working as her aunt's accomplice. At the very least, it's not out of the question. We can't imagine a reveal any soapier than that. It truly would rock the ranch and everyone in it.